Okay, well, it's taken me all day to do this, but I want to do it very quickly. Um, it's important that when I get an inspiration, I get it out because it, when I don't, I lose it. So this is the deal. Um, the pain is definitely getting better from the surgery, but it's other complications that are the trouble and that are bringing other kinds of pain and making this very difficult. Um, the weight of the splint is stressing my shoulder out and I'm terrified that it will loosen my shoulder or dislocate it. And we all know we only have one shot with the shoulder. So if that happens, I lose my arm, period, right? But then if it doesn't heal, I lose my arm too. So it's a double-edged sword. Um, also, the weight of it is bashing against my ribs. So um, they feel very bruised or possibly broken. So I'll probably need to get an x-ray and make sure it's not breaking. The pressure's not crushing my ribs. Or it could just be costochondritis, which is when the rheumatoid um, gets in the ribs. So could be inflamed, bruised, broken, but something's definitely very painful. That's where most of my pain's coming from at this point. The stress of the shoulder and the ribs. Um, the actual cut is tolerable. Um, it's just all this added pain. And then my other elbow, because I'm using one arm, that elbow's flared up. So these are the complications that happen that are unpredictable. Um, and then just being in it and being suffering from severe claustrophobia is getting to me. I have panic attacks all the time. I feel like I can't breathe. And then the, the weight of it terrifies me. So all this happening at once and I'm just, I'm just a mess inside my head. And you know, all these negative thoughts, I see life the way it is. And I'm thinking, what is the quality of life? What is the purpose of getting better to get sick again or something else happening it's it's weighing on me heavy and it's hard when you have to walk on that faith and you can't see the greatness and all the good stuff you just you can't because you get stuck in a rut because all of this stuff is in your face and you have medical science to show you how true your negative thoughts are right but the thing is this is also how god works in some of our darkest moments because I was really down today and I'm still just getting through each moment by moment, but I know that ultimately the way that I choose to think and what I choose to focus my thoughts on, that's going to, it's either going to make me or break me and the choice is mine. Which one do I want to focus on? Do I want to focus on what God tells me or do I want to focus on what the enemy is trying to show me, right? God reminds me, hey, get your eyes focused back on me. And the thing is, the choice is mine. But that means the power is mine. And in choices, in po there's power. So even though I feel powerless over my life and my circumstances, I've always had the power within because I've always had the power of Christ within, which is choice from the knowledge and wisdom he grants us. So think about that one. Well, so the first thing that I got was this, which was the monarch butterfly, which is hand it's a bookmark, but it's a handcrafted monarch butterfly from Leah Michelle Cash. Leah, thank you so much. Um, and she knows what this means to me. And man, did I need this today to be reminded of the monarch and my personal story of the monarch butterfly. And then, sorry, then there is this Jennifer. Jennifer, I'm not to tell you how to pronounce your name to me because I'll probably butcher it. So I'm not going to. But Jennifer bought me this very special box, and I'm going to read it. It says, um, it's, it's a self-affirmation, and my word is resilient. And it's really cool. You wear it to remind you of that and give yourself self-love, right? This is really cool. Then you register the bracelet, and one day you're going to be strong enough. You're not going to need the reminder, but you're going to pass it on and pay it forward. That is so cool, along with the devotional. So... So the box reads this, I have to know it. So it says, note to self, the world needs you to show up today. You are worth it. You are valuable. And what you believe inspires the world. I needed to hear that. It was even hard to read, but um, yeah, you get in really low places when you're battling. So... Thank you, Leah and Jennifer. You don't know how perfect the timing of these gifts are. Thank you so, so much.